Hey guys, welcome back to Tosh Point Fro. And today I'm gonna to show you how to do a romantic curly updo. I'm starting with the old wash and go and I'm just gonna decide what parts of my hair I wanna leave out. So I'm gonna put a little bit of argan oil in my hair because it is an old wash and go and I wanna put a little bit more moisture and a little shine in there. Make sure you get even your edges, the edges of your hair, your hair's ends, get all of that good stuff in there. And then I'll just make a little part so I can leave a little bit of my hair out for some bangs. the struggle of separating all of this. It took me a lot of time, way more time than I'm showing on this video. So when you get done kind of fiddling with how much you want to have out, put your hair in a ponytail just so you can kind of separate everything and make it easier to work with. I don't know about you, but my hair gets like tangled, so I have to keep it clipped up and separate. And sometimes, and you'll notice, on different sides of my hair, I will pull out more of my bangs and later on I'll just clip it back up so it looks more loose. Cause I don't want it to look tight. I want this to look like a natural flowy kind of hairstyle. I'm putting a little curl cream on my hair trying to keep in some moisture. And then I'm gonna lift up my ponytail and just move it towards the front of my head. Also, I found that using big like headbands as hair ties makes it so much easier <laughs> to put your hair in a ponytail, especially when it doesn't have to be tight. And right here I'm going through just little pieces of my hair. If some of my curls look fuzzy or undefined, I'll just kind of spray some water in them and add a little product and just go through them with my brush. That usually helps me a lot with reforming my curls. Got a spot check. And then you do the same thing on your little bangs that you left out. Now I left too many bangs or I guess too much hair out on purpose because I knew that I would separate some of that hair and pin it up and just kind of make it look like it's cascading curls. Oh, I thought I sprayed my camera with water. I was about to flip. And pin up them little danglings. It's a little too much hair on that side. I don't know if you guys ever tried this, but my roots do not like to get curly sometimes. So like I will sit and curl them with my fingers. It really works. Try it if you haven't. And then with the back, I usually put up most of the hair in the back. I feel like it's hard to get it to look like it's falling naturally, 
So I do my best to just kind of leave a few curls out and then pin up the rest so it looks just kind of flowy. And then finally the bangs. And you have to play with this look a little bit just to make it look normal. And gotta get them in. And if your hair curls differently than mine, you can always get uh, like those little flexi rods to curl your hair I think there you have those other little spiral curl things I can't think of the name of them but if I can think of it I'll put it in the description box and then that is it just play with your curls just a little bit more I added some shine because this was an old wash and go and I did want to make it look a little bit more natural and then I'm going to get glamorous so I can go out on my fancy date Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you like this video and remember to subscribe if you want to see more. 